To balance this equation, we have C7H12 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. So let's count the atoms up and then we'll balance the equation. Seven carbons, 12 hydrogens, and two oxygen atoms. On the product side, one carbon, and then two hydrogens, and then two oxygens. But be careful, people often forget this oxygen in the water. So we actually have three oxygen atoms on the product side of the equation. Let's leave the oxygens to last. That's a good strategy with these combustion reactions because O2, oxygen's all by itself. When we balance this, it won't affect the carbon or the hydrogen. So we'll start with the carbon. Let's put a seven in front of the CO2, one times seven. That'll give us seven carbon atoms. Update our oxygens. Now we have seven times two, that's 14, plus the one right here, so that's 15 oxygen atoms. Let's update the hydrogens. If we put a six here, we have six times two, that's 12. We need to update the oxygens again. Seven times two, that's 14, plus six times one, that gives us 20. And since we left this oxygen, this O2 until last, we just put a 10 here, two times 10, that gives us 20, and we're done. This equation is balanced. Two keys here. One, make sure you count this oxygen initially, and then leave the O2 until last. That's much easier to balance if you do it that way. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C7H12 plus O2. Thanks for watching.